Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm making a raisin walnut coffee cake and it's so delicious and so easy to make and I wanted to share it with you so you could make some too. So now all we need to do is get the pan ready. I'm going to use parchment paper. In my last video I showed how to do this step by step and some suggested that it would be just as easy to trace the bottom of the pan and then cut the circle out uh, as it would to do it this method but really once you know how to do it it goes a lot faster than trying to explain it step by step and so I'm going to go ahead and show you just how easy and how quick this is when you know what you're doing so we'll just cut this off and there it's already done so that's pretty fast I think if you check the time it's about well less than 50 seconds uh, in this little portion of the video so learn how to do it this way and you'll see it's much easier and faster that okay let's get on with the cake walnut raisin coffee cake well you get a bowl to mix everything in and you want to start with one egg and this is just a coffee cake for two and you want to add about a half a teaspoon of cooking oil and I'm going to go ahead and break up the egg at this point this is so simple you don't you don't have to uh, mix the ingredients all that much okay so you can see that eggs not beaten that much and then I'm going to add half a cup of light brown sugar and then three quarters of a cup of self rising flour self rising flour already has baking powder in it and I'm going to add a pinch of baking soda and I'll list the ingredients below in the description box and then that's a dash of salt and then one quarter teaspoon of cinnamon okay and then one quarter cup of chopped walnuts and then we're going to add one quarter cup of raisins and of course if you don't like any of these ingredients if you don't like raisins leave them out but I do and this is walnut raisin coffee cake and so we want to begin to combine the ingredients the egg is down at the bottom and so give it just a preliminary how do you like that word preliminary stir and now we're going to add just enough coffee just a little bit you see that wasn't very much just enough coffee so that everything gets nice and wet and what we're looking for is a fairly thick batter and you just have to look at it and you can start with just a little bit of coffee and if you need to add a little more we'll go ahead and if you happen to add a little too much and it, you think it's wetter than mine well that's all right I think it'll be okay just you don't want it to get too wet you can see I'm simply just turning the ingredients over just folding them over and everything's getting wet you see how thick that is it didn't take much coffee so be careful not to add too much just enough to get a nice wet batter like this okay simple huh all right the next step I'm going to take that cake pan and it, if you're cooking for just a couple of people you don't need big pans so I recommend you get yourself a small one I'm gonna put some butter along the outside edges of the pan put the parchment paper back in the bottom and then Put the batter into the pan so this is just a very small five inch cake there we go it fills the pan up about halfway like that now I'm going to take it over to the toaster oven I have a new wave oven and I'm going to set this for 300 degrees for 30 minutes but that's this oven and I recommend if you're single or you're just a couple of two then all you need is a a simple toaster oven something small but you'll have to figure out the right time for your oven you can do this in a big oven if you want to your regular oven but it's kind of wasteful this small one works just fine so anyway after 30 minutes the cake is done all we have to do now is take it out of course it's hot so be careful I'll bring it back over here and put it on this little cooling rack but I'm not gonna really let it cool that much just 
going to go ahead and use a plastic fork and start running it down the edges like this. And I, I use the plastic because I don't want to scratch my little uh, cake pan. And I'll put a link to this cake pan down in the description box if you'd like to get one. And I'm just pushing it straight down and going around the edge. And you'll see when the cake starts to release, it'll start to come up out of the pan. And that's how you know it's, it's come loose. So see if you can see it. As I work my way around the edge of this pan. Almost. Now this cake is still very hot. There, do you see that? It starts to lift up as I pull the fork out. Let me finish going around. So now the cake is free. So all we have to do is uh, take it out of this pan. Let me move that over and bring a plate, simple paper plate, and turn it out. Just like that. That parchment paper works great. Just peel that right off, and there we have it. Turn it right side up. There it is, beautiful walnut raisin coffee cake. Absolutely wonderful and so delicious, and it's so easy to make. I tell you what, I appreciate you watching all of my videos. I ask you to share them if you can, and of course, hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.